I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, the university and the strategy that it has and um, online move, moving things online because I'm I'm very interested in in what's possible with online learning and I I think there's quite a lot of movement in that direction um, but and so I was I was interested in what this strategy was going to turn out to be the the big conversation has been happening I think there's been three of them over the last year or so um, but they've only been for students and staff and uh, alumni um, so people who just live in Exeter haven't been able to comment but it, it turns out I don't I don't think the the digital online aspect is is the main main part of it um, or they're keeping it in the background pretty much um, in the in the in the echo I know there's a new one out tomorrow but just for different reasons when this show is on a Wednesday or a Thursday um, it's last week so I'm looking at it at the moment and uh, page twenty six. Uh, uni puts climate, healthcare, and social justice at heart of new ten-year strategy, and I think I think that's fair enough. The the um, the digital part was very down downplayed. You, you can watch it on. It was launched online, and it's still it's still there. You'll 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 find it online. Um, but it does it does say uh, a new Exeter Education Innovation Institute will keep the university at the forefront of teaching and learning excellence as well as preparing extra graduates to be the leaders of tomorrow. Uh, but I, I don't know any detail of, of that. I don't know where, wh what that's based on. Um, there was telematics at St Luke's a while ago, and that seemed to just disappear, really, from, you know, just as an outsider would observe it. And uh, there was technology-enhanced learning but that's that's hidden away. There's a there's a link about it, but it, for most people, you can't get that information as to what that was about. So if anybody knows what happened with those two things, is in the past, or what what plans there are for an extra education innovation institute, that would be in, that would be very interesting. Um, would because th this is the, the this is sort of turning out to be a fact uh, show. Um, it is the We Don't Know show, but there are things which we'd like to know. Um, the, the other thing is that Lisa Roberts, the Vice-Chancellor, um, is coming from Leeds, and the, there seems to be a lot more going on there uh, that is on, online and very open about that. So I, I don't know who's listening to this show. We'll, we'll put a, we'll put this clip onto YouTube and we'll tweet about such things. It would be, just be interesting to know what's happening in other in other places, um, it, you know, especially where, where places Exeter might compare with. I, should, I would think Leeds would be one of them, uh, or possibly. Well, I don't know what, what they think about Coventry. Um, I don't think Coventry's in the Russell Group, but it's working very well with Future Learn. So uh, there's a, there's all sorts of things we could we could could talk about. Um, ruin yeah ruins Ru ruiniversity. Sorry, I'm just looking around at different bits of note here. Um, when when you I've, if you look at uh, Exposé, the student newspaper, uh, Guild newspaper that you you can find it's free. You can find it on the campus and it's also it's also online. There's a couple of articles there that I've tweeted about, um, both as Will 789 GB and as uh, We Not Know, W-E-N-O-T-N-O. -O. And the, the most recent one is based on interviews with staff who so, so they, they're, they're sort of seeing the online option definitely as part of the, the, the lockdown or pandemic um, situation. Uh, it's very, op I think, quite optional. They they sort of see it as something they might have to go back to. Re read read the article. I might I'm, you make your own judgment on what 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 the point of view it seems to be about that option. Um, but there's a there's another one with Ru ruin ruin university in the headline, which is an interesting term, um, which does raise some questions. 
about the the value of a degree and what, what the options are. And studying online is one of, one of those options. Uh, I don't think that's turned up in print yet, but you will find that online. Or if you look at the the Twitter feed, you'll find a find a link to that. And that sort of ties up with with um, one of one of the plays I might talk about a bit more tomorrow or dramas. Um, is based in the ruins of the Fortress University, which is something that um, Peter Horrocks spoke about in Durham a while, a while ago. Um, so all of, all, of, all of that, I might, I might say a bit more about that as 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 drama tomorrow. But in in terms of of um, things we'd like to know, um, the Extra Education Innovation Institute. Because uh, if, if it takes a long time to, for a new building and then it, there's research and... I know it's a 10-year strategy, but m there might be things happening sooner than that. You never... Well, you never know. Um, yes, another CD lined up. Going back to uh, the CD walk, which is one, one of the things, just looking at what space is needed in central Exeter for music retail and the, the way the music's gone streaming and the... Well, this, it did take a long time. You can talk about 10 or 20 years, I suppose, for that. So we, who who knows? This is the We Don't, Don't Know show. But um, one of the things about the CDs is the um, the soundtrack to Respect has, has almost gone. There's only one left. And it's uh, resulted in quite a lot of interest in, in, in Aretha's CDs, some of which they've got new stock in at ridiculously high prices. But um, that's all the Atlantic stock, really. The Arista ones aren't, aren't there, apart from um, something called the Ultimate Collection, something like that. One of, the, one of the sort of triple CD collections from a couple of years ago is, is still there. So you won't find um, the Arista CDs as such. But that, that, that one is, is worth looking out for. And uh, here's, here's a track from uh, Jump To It. 